camera. <laughs> Hello, my name is Zealand, and today we're talking about uh, new features on the Football Manager. I'm very excited, and I hope you are too. Spencer is telling us about new features on Football Manager, and I'm going to tell you what he didn't talk about uh, that you should notice. Sometimes it just feels right. I, I can't even tell you. If you like the get up in the shirts, I've got like a box of eight or nine coming in from High Score Tees. The merch will actually be dropping the exact same day that Football Manager comes out. So I just want you to let the hype build for a second. Thank you. We may continue. Football Manager dropped a five minute video about new features in the game. And unlike the video that I broke down in my last video, which you should check out because I talk about stuff that I won't talk about here. <laughs> That's too YouTube for my taste. You can watch it if you want to. <laughs> this video, there's somebody describing what is happening. That person is Spin. Yay, Spin. Friend of mine, not a dear friend. You know, I don't think we're on that level, but we're friendly. I just keep beating him in the streamer showdown. That's gotta be frustrating, really. That's not the point. And there is a streamer showdown actually coming up next weekend. If you want to watch that, the link to the Twitch is down in the description. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then maybe you can acquaint yourself. You'll find it enjoyable. Competitive football manager, who knew? So the feature video is five minutes long and they're able to talk about the direction that football manager is going in FM21. And there are some features that are completely awash. I don't think they're telling us anything important or new or useful at all. And there are other features that are awesome. But as with the previous video, we are going Going to sit here we're gonna watch the vid and we're gonna break it down you know stop on some frames talk about features talk about whether they're actually good whether they've actually improved the game which with some of the features they have or whether they're the type of features where you just kind of rearrange a few things and it's not gonna do anything for you without further ado football manager 2020 well where's theater mode man cinema mode with spencer owen you know totally should be me i'm just saying Okay, I said that on stream and somebody was like, oh my God, fighting words. Oh, come on, come on. I understand, Spencer's cooler than me, that's okay. So the first thing he talks about, and I'm assuming that's what he's talking about here, is how Football Manager, and this is huge, this video has announced the direction that Football Manager wants to go, and they are focusing on you. Now, that sounds stupid. Like, this isn't some treat yourself day, though. They're focusing on you and your interactions and how realistic the experience is for your manager person in the game. This is something they have needed to do for a while. I'm sure it was right at the top of their list before the pandemic hit of things that they wanted to do for Football Manager 21. And they have been able to do them, as Spence is so eloquently describing, I'm sure, behind that well-groomed beard and perfectly tailored hair. Shut up, you're jealous. Oh, hey, let me... Let me put these on. You hear what he's saying. What did, what did you say? Is he wearing a gold watch? He is. Damn. Okay, here we go. We now have the first actual gameplay image that I want to talk about. This is hilarious. So, essentially what Football Manager 21 is doing that Football Manager 20 did not have is introducing body language and actions that you can partake in in press conferences and interactions with players and stuff. <laughs> Oops. Definitely was supposed to have a word there. They are replacing the tone. You remember the tone? You had like assertive and calm and you were calm like 95% of the time and then maybe you were aggressive, maybe you were passionate. That is like gone. That's gone from the game and it's replaced with things like outstretched arms or point finger or hands in pockets. You can even shake your head in disapproval or most importantly, as you probably got from the intro, you can throw your water bottle, which I'm guessing is a rather incendiary thing. That being said, I'm going to absolutely do it the first opportunity that I have. And then there's a section called statement that obviously we can see here. And this statement section is what you're familiar with before from all these other things. We can smile warmly, uh, right? In the previous video, we talked about how there's a different overlay for the press conferences finally. And that is because of this emphasis on interaction that Football Manager 21 is going to have. And it is obviously, as you would hope, not just with the press. That is just the example 
example that they're using here. So you, when you're interacting with the press, you can pick your different body languages. Another thing that came out in this feature video is that Football Manager has introduced something called a quick chat. So you no longer have to have this like super formal interaction in the interaction screen where you bring somebody into their office. Hey boss, you wanted to talk to me? Yes, yeah, son, have a seat. It's about your... Um, mortgage. Those sorts of conversations, you don't have to have those anymore. You can have a quick chat on the way by, open up your arms wide towards Selmer, which appeared to improve his body language. Nice. We have a nice little screen, which tells you where everybody kind of lies. This is assuming that if you had great emotional intelligence, you have this in your mind about all of your players. That's good. And then you can say some positive things and just talk to him real quick on the way in and out of training without holding a big meeting. And then I imagine you're going to have different options in the quick chat section that you wouldn't have in the formal meeting, come into my office, let's talk about the kids and the mortgage sort of meeting. Honestly, it just gives it a more realistic feel. How do I feel about this new feature? I, I do think that this is similar to something like introducing the playing time pathway, where it it's not gonna wholesale change the way you play the game, but it's nice and you can use it. The other thing that I think is interesting is you now actually have the ability uh, to continue this realistic interaction thing. And I mentioned it in the last freaking video that they were gonna have texting in this game. This is it. You can have remote conversations. I guess it could be a phone call, but who calls on the phone? You can have remote conversations with the people that are out on loan. And I know you can do that in the game already, but it's always like, hey man, using the facilities? It looks like they've made a whole other screen for having remote conversations with people to probably keep a lot of the same conversation topics other than what you have in the game now, which is you have like two conversation topics total. And it's almost completely useless. You can't really interact with a player that is away from the club or somebody else that is away from the club. Somebody you sent on vacation because they were homesick, whatever. You can now have remote conversation with that person on this remote chat screen. Spence also mentions that you can do this like opposition managers. So if you're beefing with like Jose Mourinho, right? You can slide into his Instagram DMs and be like, hey man, why are you such a I mean, you kind of want to ask him, don't you? There it is, you can shake your head. I love it. Disapproving shake of the head. Every time somebody from, from the sun, I guess. <sighs> How dare you? All right, the next section of features, and they're gonna apparently do a bunch of videos like this where they break down the different features. And you know, I'll be there like five days behind diving into what this actually means for you. The next section is match day. And the goal is to get you closer to the match day experience than ever before, right? That's like your stock and trade line. The first thing they talk about is just nonsense. They basically come up with another UI screen for you to get advice on what to make your tactical changes with. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of actual difference when it comes to what those tactical changes are. Like they just changed the UI and the presentation so that it looks more like a match day sheet going into the match itself, which will make you feel cool. Though there's no actual change going on in this section, but this is better than the, oh, you get advice from your staff. Like, you know, homie, we already did get advice from our staff, okay? So what we noticed from the last video is that the UI of the match itself has been modernized, but now we get a better look at it. So you have your instructions, you have your shouts, your mentality, it's all down in the bottom corner. And we have like the slick production stuff. That's not newsworthy, let's keep going. So they've improved the models, the animation system and the lighting, they do that every year in varying degrees. Them saying that they've improved the model, those are just expected updates to the match engine, making it look a little better than last time. Now it's time to get into the saucy little post-match stuff. So Football Manager, thanks to working apparently with some a company called Psy Sports, which I've been meaning to look up, Football Data Intelligence, an international sports analytics company and provider of football data intelligence for professional football organizations, media, and entertainment. Guess this qualifies as entertainment. So Psy Sports has now provided Football Manager with expected goals. So at the end of each match, you're gonna get an analytical report of that match. I don't think it's gonna come in your inbox later. It looks like it literally comes up right at the end of the match and you're able to break it down kind of in the match screen. Hopefully you're able to get an email about it too, but that's nice. They're they're forcing it down your throat a little bit more instead of maybe you have to set it up. You get a data analyst, get it to come in through the inbox. Uh, there's always a lot of people in my DMs that have an issue with like trying to get their analyst reports. They're coming up for you immediately now. There it is, it's in the inbox, knew it. He just said there was gonna be a new staff role. They don't show it or mention it in this this video. I'm assuming a managing director is the leader of the club. You have your director of football, 
or general manager, assistant manager, and chief scout. He said there was going to be a new, a new staff role. Interesting. I guess we're going to have to learn about that in a later video. But the recruitment meeting, here's my fear for the recruitment meeting, that it's going to turn into the development center in something that I just really don't use. I hope the recruitment meeting provides you information that you couldn't get anywhere else. Otherwise, I think this might be a dead feature. Probably the thing other than the fact that they're somehow pitching that you're getting information before the match with a new UI as a new feature. I, I think this might be the most questionable feature. It is a cool idea, as you are about to see. Like the staff is gonna give you advice on the positions you need to improve. And then you can give your thoughts on what the team needs to improve and kind of give everybody their marching orders. The way I particularly like to micromanage scouting and the way that I try and encourage you guys to scout, scouting is interpretive. There is no perfectly right way to do it. It's entirely dependent on your financial situation, your club, what you are trying to do, which is why I just try and kind of put guardrails in and like, you definitely shouldn't do this. The way I love to scout and micromanage my scouts and make sure that they're all doing the right thing, I feel like this meeting could get very redundant. So this looks like the UI that you'll actually get. Scouts look for players who can perform well at our level, outfield players who are intelligent, analysts look for players in our recruitment package with notable uh, stats. Oh, let's go. I love this. You can tell your analysts what to look for. This is beautiful. And this might be indicative of an overhaul of the scouting system where you can, you kind of just point your scouts in a different direction. Or what I would prefer is I can set like three scouts to be following my recruitment meeting advice and the other eight scouts are doing some more longer form region hunting basically. But assigning your analysts exactly what to look for, like, hey, look for key passes. Hey, look for XG created. That, that might be my favorite hidden thing in the video. I don't think Spin mentions it explicitly. You can tell your analysts what next gen stats to look for. Ah, thank you, SI, love it. And here's the other part of the production package that's honestly fantastic. Obviously the animation isn't brilliant, but you're on a stage, there's confetti falling, the flames going off, you're lifting a trophy. This is a party. I'm gonna be dumping water on my head to celebrate a trophy with an absolute party going on. And he also says that the kind of media interaction you get around those trophies, maybe you do an interview on the field, whatever, that that stuff is really cool too. So huge, awesome, just production value changes there. You cannot go wrong with just making winning trophies better. And then there's the last bit, which is apparently they've beefed up the end of season report. I honestly already liked all of the end of season reports, like the economic end season report, the fans player of the season, goal of the season. I think they're gonna have more stuff like that. That's certainly not life-changing. It's just something to round out the numbers and make this feature video five minutes because apparently they're planning on doing a lot more of them. So headphones off. Thank you, Spin, for, for being our guinea pig today. Huge on these size sports news. They seem very legit, according to Wikipedia, who I trust implicitly so the features i'm gonna say you know the best one for me honestly might be telling my dad analyst where to look because i feel like i'm going to be able to pick out a lot of <laughs> like a lot of wonder kids that way but the other great one is the introduction of body language the revamping of your interactions with players because as much as i love a wall of text with a dude's head in the corner that needed to change and it has. I look forward to more details coming out. If they just keep dropping a video every two days, then I guess is the type. this is the type of video I'm making for the next month. All right, I'll see you on stream or another video or in my DMs. I didn't mean that. Well...